Welcome to Albert and Philip and welcome to the 46th Historic Winton. Once again, this event is managed by the Austin 7 Club in association with the Historic Motorcycle Racing Association. The weekend was a big success as usual, with diehard competitors and spectators persisting with challenging wet conditions, particularly on the Sunday. Over the weekend, there were 47 car, motorcycle, and sidecar races. The Saturday events, including those first races and displays and practices, made it a day of action and excitement, whilst on Sunday the rain did slow down the pace. Group S saw an eclectic field of sports cars competing. The Saturday's race one proved some epic cat and mouse battles between Raymond Narkwitz's 1965 Chevy Corvette and the Rogers Little Yellow 1964 Austin Healy S with its 1275. It was seriously entertaining stuff watching these two battle it out for the lead over the course of many laps. The Hugh Harrison 1979 Alpha GTV was a consistent top three performer in all the conditions over the weekend. A smaller field in Group M this year saw the Mustang of John Bow, the clear front runner, in the first race, with blistering lap times about the 107 mark thereabouts. Whilst in NB, the Mini Cooper of Richard Hill was a consistent leader in all events. A first for Winton this year was the Group N Tin Tops. These are touring machines before 1958 to 1972 and it was a regularity style event. With a field including six FJ Holdens, a Ford Cortina, a Shelby Coupe, a Vauxhall PB, a VW Beetle amongst others. The tin top winners of the event were in the first event, Len Reed in his 1964 Mini Cooper, in the second, Eric Spokes in a 1957 Holden FE, and in the third event, Brian Russell in a 1949 Holden FX.
The JK and LOB Sports Racing Field is an assortment of historic racing cars ranging from the 1920s to the 1960s. In race one, in the dry conditions, David Reed in the 1959 faux pas special was the winner. This was in class LBR. In race two, the handicap event, the winner was the 1946 Amal Carl Willys of Matt Snape. So the crank pin sits on that, the flywheel sits out one side and the crank pin's on the other end of the bent wire. So you can't rev it too hard because it, it'll, it'll just bugger that bearing up. So it's, it's a, it used to be a total loss oil system, so you just pump oil in. It's got a little, a, a, the bottom of the sump is just a catch and it's got a dipper and it just splashes in that and sprays oil in. Oh, yep. And, it's all like a ride on mower. Yeah. Austin 7s, MGs, Elvises, Jaguars, Bugattis, Dodge, Amalcar were just some of the marks featured in the Regularity 1, with cars ranging from 1917 to the late 1940s. 
In this event, drivers nominate a time and complete laps as closest to the nominated time as they can. It's not necessarily about speed in this event, but it was amazing to see the huge speed differences between this field of 35 cars. There was about 45 seconds per lap separating the fastest from the slower cars. If you've watched this video this far, thank you so much for watching. Obviously it was difficult getting the footage that we would have liked to have got given the less than ideal weather conditions. But nevertheless, we hope you've enjoyed the video. We'll definitely be back next year, hopefully under sunny weather and skies. Well done to the organizers once again for creating an amazing event as usual, and we'll see you on the next video. And that's car number four going around out there. We even have a Bugatti. Quite a Bugatti there. Bugatti. Oh. But every car that's uh, in Australia. Knows everybody has got a Bugatti. Uh, yeah, well. Uh, yeah. So efficient, uh, yeah. You would drop the down to 16. You can see the right hour of the race here. He's speeding and he's dropping down the back. Maybe you thought he was in a race, he heard you saying it was a race, so he said, oh, well, I better race there. That's why he's being a commentator, a commentator, a commentator, a commentator. Beautiful little car. Uh, 73 goes across the line, not much to do on my last name. That's why. Uh, 36 goes across the line. Beautiful.